So, when can inflation actually arise? What can cause inflation? There are two main causes of inflation. Demand pull inflation and cost push inflation. Demand pull inflation occurs when there is an increase in aggregate demand in the economy. On a diagram, that will look something like this. So you've got your aggregate supply, and for some reason, for a whole host of reasons, aggregate demand has shifted to the left, let's say. Well, as you can see, as aggregate demand shifts to the right, as it increases, there is an increase in growth, yes, but there is an increase in demand pull inflationary pressure as we move closer to the full employment level of output. Right. It's not enough you just saying that demand pull inflation is caused when aggregate demand shifts to the right. That's too simple. You need to actually explain in more depth why. Why exactly has inflation gone up? Yes, an increase in aggregate demand caused an increase in prices, uh, an increase in pressure on prices. But why? Well, the reason is this. As we move closer to the full employment level of output in the economy, there is more pressure put on the existing factors of production in the economy. We're exhausting more and more spare capacity in the economy. So the pressure on labour, the pressure on capital, the pressure on land, all increases. And when there is more pressure put on these factors of production, the price of them increases. Workers suddenly want higher wages. The price of capital increases because it becomes scarcer. The price of land increases because it becomes scarcer. So overall, that puts upward pressure on prices in the economy. That's why there is demand pull inflationary pressure from P1 to P2. So make sure in an exam you actually explain that. You don't just say demand pull inflation from P1 to P2 full stop. Not enough. You need to explain why based on my explanation there. So what might have caused that? I'm just going to say them. A whole host of reasons, remember, it's basically any increase in aggregate demand. So aggregate demand is equal to C plus I plus G plus X minus M. A definition that you just need to know at the top of your head like that. So any increase in aggregate demand, if it's an increase in consumption, maybe interest rates are falling. An increase in investment, an increase in government spending, a fall in the exchange rate, which increases exports, a reduction in taxation. Whatever it might be, any factor that can increase aggregate demand would cause this demand pull inflation. What about cost push inflation? What does that look like on the diagram? Well, this is all about supply side shocks. It's not to do with long run supply, it's all to do with short run aggregate supply shocks, supply side shocks. So, for short run aggregate supply, you use this supply curve. Okay? So, if you want to call it SRS, you can. If you just want to call it AS, it doesn't matter. Short run aggregate supply looks like that. It's just a uh, upward sloping curve, and you can see here the increase in prices from P1 to P2. So, what's going on here? What might cause that? Supply side shocks take four main forms. The key one is an increase in the price of commodities, an increase in the price of raw materials. The most significant one, which can do real damage to an economy, is an increase in the price of oil. Because the whole macroeconomy, all major economies, are built around oil, really. Oil is needed for everything. So if the price of oil goes up, it's going to affect everybody, everybody all consumers, all firms in the economy. So short and aggregate supply will shift to the left, and that will cause an increased pressure on prices. Costs push inflation there, an increase in the price of commodities, an increase in the price of raw materials. Oil is a good example. So that's one. You can also have uh, an increase in wages is a short and supply shock. So a sudden increase in wages will increase the cost of production. You can have um, an increase in business taxes like VAT, which will shift SRS, short and aggregate supply, to the left. You can also have import inflation, so an increase in import prices. Firms that import raw materials from production suddenly now have to pay more um, for some reason. If that's the case, then that's going to increase prices. They're going to pass on these higher costs via higher prices. So when imports become more expensive, you see imported inflation, uh, cost of production increase, aggregate supply shifts to the left. So cost push inflation is all about the cost of production. So any increase in the costs of production would shift the aggregate supply curve to the left, the short run aggregate supply curve to the left, and cause an increase in prices. The reason very simply now is that as firms face an increase in their cost of production, they're more likely to pass on these extra costs via higher prices, thus causing cost push inflationary pressure. Okay, so that's how you explain that. So just quickly run through this again. So it could be an increase in the price of raw materials, or an increase in the price of commodities, which increases cost of production. 
an increase in business taxes, increasing cost of production like VAT, an increase in wages, which increases cost of production, and imports, and import prices increasing, which then increases cost of production for firms who import raw materials. So you've got demand pull inflation, cost push inflation. This one is deemed to be the most severe, the most kind of detrimental, because as you can see, there is a reduction in growth as well as an increase in inflation. At least with demand pull inflation, you see an increase in growth. And there is some incentive because of higher prices for firms to produce more. So this one is deemed to be okay as long as it's not high and rampant. This one, though, is not deemed to be good. There is very little that an economy can do or a government can do to control this as well. Hope that explains it. Hope you're happy. See you next time. Thank you.